This is the famous Herman Miller M-Body office chair, starting at $1,500. And this is the WorkPro Quantum 9000, and it retails for about $429. We saw a great deal on slick deals for $209. And we're going to test these two chairs, put them head to head, try out comfort, look at design and quality and see which one comes out on top. We're also going to race them mm -hmm. around the office. And I'm going to win. No, I'm probably going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Honest, <laughs> honesty is the best. <laughs> So first things first, this is not a sponsored video. However, Slick Deals may receive a small commission if you happen to purchase one of these chairs through the links below. I love it when you talk legal. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but now let's just get into the video. Let's do it. So Dan, we picked these two chairs for a specific reason. Yes, yeah, so we have the Herman Miller M-Body and the WorkPro Quantum 9000. People in the comments are probably gonna say, why didn't you pick the Aeron? We didn't pick the air on because we have these in the office already. Right. And we've been sitting on these for a few years now, so we can definitely speak to the quality of these chairs. For many years. And this is the more expensive model. Mm -hmm. So this is the best of the best in terms of chairs. And this is the best of the best in terms of deals because it was the highest rated office chair deal we've ever seen on Slick Deals. Now, best deal doesn't always mean lowest price. No. And there are definitely cheaper office chairs out there. However, this is the highest rated deal. And our community considers the amount of the discount, how often it goes on sale, and quality of the product. Now let's address the elephant in the room here. There's a big price difference between these two chairs. Like this one starts at 1500, but goes all the way up to 1800. That is more than I paid for my first car. Me too. <laughs> all right, let's start off comparing the two seats. The Herman Miller uh, actually has an extendable seat cushion that goes out towards your knees. Uh, to meet all your ergonomic needs. Oh. And <laughs> I actually didn't know about this feature and I Neither sat on I. it for like three or four years until I figured that part out. It does make a big difference in comfort because when it's all the way pulled back, it kind of cuts off my circulation a little bit um, in my hamstrings. So I actually like having it all the way out there. Uh, you don't have that fancy feature. I, I do not have that fancy feature. Um, it does go out like a little bit. It's not as easy to do. Um, that's what $1,500 buys you though. I know. So what you were saying about your knees, we have an ergonomic certified expert in the office mm -hmm. and she said that you should have about two fingers between your knees and your chair. And that's best for blood flow, circulation, stuff like that. I have four fingers. Four fingers. Was that, that mean extra good? I don't know it's what that twice means. twice as good? I don't know what that means. Let's get Lindsay in Maybe here. I just need to, oh, maybe I just need to actually sit properly. Well, no, it, yeah, now it's two fingers. No, it's two fingers. Yeah, there so that's you perfect. You have a perfect chair. So I, I was just sitting, I was using the chair wrong. <laughs> well, that's the thing. We've been using these chairs for four years. Yeah. And I still didn't know any, like most of these features. Right. What else can I say about this? The cushion is comfortable. The The material is, you know, nice. I'm not an expert here, but it's, it's kind of bouncy. It's nice, has a lot of nice give. Yeah, it's not, as comfortable, I think when you sit in it, you think, oh, this is a $1,500 chair. Mm -hmm. It should be super comfortable. Yeah. But it's, it, it feels be. a little, it feels a little su more supportive than cushy. Yeah. Right. Sitting proper is not as comfortable. No, as, it's ergonomics. You know, slouching. So let's get into mine. This is a mesh fabric. Mm -hmm. So it's not like that one, but so it is bouncy. It's very similar to the Aeron. Mm -hmm. uh, because that's also a mesh fabric. Yeah. But one thing you can't do is if you sit like this, it hurts. It hurts. I don't the, sit like this, but some people do. Some people do. But that one, apparently but you can do it. This one, you could probably do a, a lotus pose. Oh my God, that's impressive. <laughs> Whoa, that's, I can't do that. <laughs> one day too, Jesus. you'll be like me. Hey, <laughs> spin them around, folks. <laughs> yeah, okay, now that that's over with, yeah. let's get into the armrests. The WorkPro Quantum has a very traditional armrest mm -hmm. adjustment where it kind of goes in and out. Yeah. However, it is very easy to do. So if you're like standing up, they might that go, it happens a lot. Fling out on you. They fling out, but the Herman Miller is a much weirder yeah. adjustment. I didn't even know it had it because you have to push them in and out and it feels like you're breaking it. Yeah, it's very, they're very rigid, put it that way. So I'll, I'll demonstrate for you. Uh, they're already, they're all the way flexed out now. So this is as far out as they go. 
and you can bring them in all the way over here. But I have to use quite a bit of force. It's to like do a it. roller coaster it's seat like, belt where you latch in. It's like the Hulk. You gotta <laughs> uh, go full tilt there. Uh, so in it, it's it's nice that you can do this, and I guess maybe the point of it being so hard is so if you do stand up, it doesn't yeah it doesn't have the same out issue as and this. You, you have uh, an accident, but it is also kind of hard to make small adjustments. Like if I just want to do one click in, it, I'm trying and it's like, that's two, three, there, I did yeah. one. And now I have to figure out. Yeah, I yeah. don't know where it, it is. It takes a while. This is like, okay, it's out, middle, yeah. in. Where that is like, oh, I'm like 30 degrees and yeah. then I'm like 40 degrees. Yes. I don't even know. There's no yeah. way to know which, which click it's but on. But yours, okay, this was interesting. If you push mine back, yeah. the armrests stay stationary, stay but mine. yours go with you. Oh. That's the little design feature that makes that a thousand dollars more. Exactly. And then I like that if you want to adjust them up and down, there's a little trigger here. Kind of like if you have a you know PlayStation controller, the left and right triggers. But on yours, they're like all the way down here. Yeah, so I want to be able to do that. It's it's these little buttons right here. Yeah. And these this is the lowest setting. So you're supposed to have your arms. all the way down here. Yeah, yours go all the way down there. You're supposed to have your arms at a 90 degree angle. This is definitely not ergonomic. No, that's Very not ergonomic at all. Proper. <laughs> but yeah, this this doesn't go down low enough. Yeah. Like I'm I'm not that tall. Right. Or I'm I'm average height. I'm I'm five ten. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I feel like it should be go lower than that. Yeah. Good point. It's definitely a hard stop here. Yeah. But. They do look like cute exclamation marks. They do look like cute exclamation marks. So I don't know if that's a plus. Yeah. No, but... it's not a plus. It's an exclamation <laughs> mark. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think that's all we need to say. Probably more than what we need to say about these uh, armrests. The armrests. Uh, let's uh, go into back support. Yes. So you have a pixelated matrix. Mm. Yes. The official marketing term it, for Yeah, it. it almost looks like a spine, like vertebrae. It does. It, and it really bends all kinds of ways. Uh, it's very comfortable uh, and has a lot of give. And uh, yeah, I guess that's another one of those fancy features. But uh, you have uh, this lock on the Herman Miller back here where you can go easily all the way back. And then if I raise it up, it just goes maybe 80% you know, of the way back and then 25, 50, and then this. Oh, hey, I didn't even notice this. What? If you put it all the way up, you still only, can bend. Yeah, yeah, but only the top part. Because the matrix, <laughs> the matrix is bending, not the, yeah. the chair is not bending so if you're looking like, at it. Yeah. Only from my sh yeah. uh, shoulder blades, it's bending. Yeah. That's actually, I don't know what the purpose is, but it's pretty fun. So um, this also has a lock, but it does not have four levels. It just has one level. Interesting. They both have a uh, tension adjusters. So if you want your kind of like back flex to be uh, more rigid, you can just spin this thing. I think I had mine pretty rigid already. Uh, and let's see, I'm doing it counterclockwise. Makes it, whoa, very easy. It feels easy. like you're gonna fall. Very easy yeah. to, to go back. That's and why they have yours the can do the same, right? Yeah, yeah, so I'm now all the way loose. Loosey goosey. Yeah, loosey goosey. It goes pretty far back. Yeah. If I turn it up more, yeah. it doesn't feel as rigid as the Herman Miller. Yeah. The this, Herman Miller really locks you in. Yes, it does. Where this is, it still has a lot of give, which I think is better for the ergonomy. Ergonomy, I don't think that's a word. I know, it's not a word. <laughs> <laughs> but here's what $1,500 also buys you. It's lumbar support. So yeah. there's a, another little uh, twist knob back here where if you twist it clockwise, you can definitely feel it uh, stiffening up in your lumbar spine area. And then if you just do counterclockwise, it gets uh, loose. Yeah. yeah. Yours does definitely not have that. It does not have- it has like a makeshift kind of- Yeah, it's not adjustable like that where you actually adjust the tension. It does go up and down. So yeah. then the mesh kind of conforms to where your lumbar support needs to be. Cool story though. <laughs> it's not lumbar. It's not the same. And this, and this, adjustment's kind of annoying. Yeah. You, have to, you have to do it and then lock it. Yeah. So in summary, the features, Herman Miller definitely has better and slightly more features. I think you definitely have to say that Herman Miller has more features. Yeah. It's a $1,500 chair. Right. Like it's to be expected. But the WorkPro Quantum 9000 actually has a lot of adjustments that I was impressed with. Yeah. It, they're not as nice as the Herman Miller, but they're there and for the price, 
I, it seemed pretty good to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Comfort. What do you think? I have an interesting thought on this one. Oh, let me hear. The Work Pro Quantum, upon immediate sit down, felt more comfortable uh -huh. than the Herman Miller. And then? Then I looked it up <laughs> and... Oh yeah, that's someone else's opinion. No, 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 no. An ergonomic chair is not necessarily supposed to be the most comfortable. Because if right. you want a chair to be comfortable, you get like a lazy boy. Yes. But it's not good for your back. No. So I do feel like the work pro, I do almost prefer the feeling of it. But after sitting in the chair all day, mm -hmm. I prefer the Herman Miller. Yeah. I feel better afterwards. Ah, it yeah. feels better. I feel better. Wow, what a ringing endorsement. Uh, yeah, I mean, since we've sat in these chairs for years, I don't even notice them really. Well, yeah, but yeah. I've never really had back aches from sitting in a chair for many, many hours a day for several years. So I would say that's a ringing endorsement and nothing has ever broken like these, these uh, arm rests, the, the seat going up and down, all those features are still just yeah. as good as when the, it was brand new. So I guess I never really thought about the comfort of my chair, which is the point of Herman Miller. Like I've been sitting in it for three years and mm. I've never noticed this is comfortable or un uncomfortable. But let's do a quick check. Let's swap. We've been sitting in these chairs now for like an hour straight. Yes. But let me sit in yours and you sit in mine and see I want if to, your yeah. opinion changes. Maybe, maybe I'm just remembering wrong, but I want to, I want to see what the Herman Miller is. Yeah. Okay. We swap. Okay. Oof. Wow, so this one definitely you, oh, does you got not it, have you the got it warm, by the way. Yeah, yours is cold. <laughs> is mine warm? No, no, yours is cold. <laughs> Too much air conditioning here. So the first thing I noticed definitely is that it's not as bouncy as this one. Like when you sit down, it gives a lot more than this. But it's actually, whoa. Feels I, I turned it um, really loose. Yeah. You're this loose. You're feels, a loose cannon, Dan. I'm a loose cannon. This actually, uh, you cannot get the tension nearly as high on the Work Pro as you have it here. Yeah, it's it's still nice. I like it. I, yeah. I'm almost taken back what I said <laughs> because because the upper back support is so nice here. Yeah, that doesn't really have it. Yeah, I'm gonna raise right? mine a little bit. Okay, so if I raise that up, but this is act, but this is fine. This is good. Like. Fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, that's a lot. Four hundred to or two hundred on a good deal. I would be happy with this chair. I could sit in this all day. I wouldn't. I would say that chair is comfortable if I yeah. didn't have to compare it right immediately to the Herman. Miller. Sometimes it's better not to know all <laughs> all the things that are out there. Oh, this has a lot of levels of adjustability. Yes, like a lot. Again, it might take you three or four years to figure all this oh. out. Yo. We know that Herman Miller's more comfortable. It makes sense it's more comfortable. Yes. Is it $1,000 more comfortable? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> I guess. I mean, if I had it, you could also finance it for 0% oh, yeah. and pay like 75 bucks, 100 bucks a month yeah. or something like that. And then it becomes a little bit more appealing if I can spread it out. I don't think, if I had to pay in a lump sum, I probably would end up going with this one. But I definitely want that chair more. And if I could yeah. find a way to make it work, I definitely would. We can just take one of these from the office. This is true. You can't though. I actually, so what is your real opinion on it? That you, was my real opinion. No, I, I like this one more. No, I know. But like, but with because I, I actually I'm 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 figuring it out. Do I want? I'll do take I, your time. Do I want the Work Pro Quantum? I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind having the Work Pro Quantum. I wouldn't mind either. It's a but fine if you give chair. Me a choice. I'm taking this one. Yeah, I mean, you can keep your exclamation But am I, am I spending fifteen hundred for a chair? Ugh, yeah, probably not. It, but it might be worth it because you're sitting in it eight hours a day. Yeah, and I if, feel better after sitting in this one. If I work from home permanently, then yes, one hundred percent. Here's the thing actually with the, with the value of Herman Miller's, they like retain their value hmm. and they last a long time. Oh, well, it definitely lasts. So you need to use one. Yeah, this one's like four years. No, this one's new. 
This one is yeah. new, but it looks and works the same way as ours that we yeah. used for a long time. I mean, that's a good segue into warranty. This yeah. one has a 12 year warranty. Best in the biz 12 year warranty. 12 year warranty. It's uh, free returns within 30 days as well, but I don't think you're gonna find anything you don't like in 30 days. Yeah. And so, if you order from Herman Miller, it comes pre assembled. Oh, that's Because cool. I would not want to assemble oh, man, this yeah. thing. Look that's, at that. That's yeah. a lot. But, so that's good. Not every retailer has it assembled, so definitely check. Yeah. This one does not come pre-assembled. No, it does not. It does not. Um, and the warranty on this one? 10 years. 10 years. Uh, manufacturer warranty. Manufacturer warranty. So both have good warranty. This is tried and tested. Like everyone yes. like everyone knows the Herman Miller M body is going to last you a long time. Yeah. We looked at reviews for the WorkPro Quantum mm -hmm. and people said it holds up. There were some issues, but we haven't tested this one long enough. Right. I don't think it has the same. We don't have three years to get data, back to you. Yeah. But <laughs> we're take other people's word for it. Yeah. All right. So if we're able to sway you in either direction on buying one of these chairs, just got to get to 90 degrees. Here. You can get uh, this one, obviously, on Herman Miller's website, or you can find a list of authorized resellers. And this quantum we got at Office Depot. Office Depot and Lenovo.com sells it as well. Right. And if you want to find out when the next deal happens, I would recommend set a deal alert for either chair and you'll yeah. get a notification. It goes on sale often. It's one of the most popular chairs we see on Slick Deals. Race time. It's time for me to be crowned the winner. So we're just gonna go around and just... Yeah, it's time to get your Fred Flintstone on. Three, two, one. Game begin. Oh, we're coming through smooth right now. Twist, 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 twist. Oh no, we're spinning out. Oh, oh, oh. Yell time. There! Oh, 12 seconds. <laughs> 12 seconds. Three, two, oh, I'm gonna hurt one, myself. go. Oh, he caught the carpet. Dude, am I not allowed to hit the carpet? No, you go, go, go. <laughs> that was, oh, there, stop. Okay. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Ah, I'm slipping, I'm slipping, I'm slipping. <laughs> no way, okay. It's the chair. I get one more. You I gotta race it, you gotta race one this more. one. Three, two, one, go. Oh, you're already down. Oh, oh. you're screwed. No, you're screwed. it's out. You're gonna have 15 seconds. You know what, I give up. Herman Miller sucks. 16 points. <laughs> So the quantum hat is the reason the name is quantum. Yeah. Quantum speed. Quantum speed. Quantum speed 9000. It makes sense now. It does. It does make sense. All right, so after that, I'm definitely gonna go with the quantum. And I'm definitely gonna go get a glass of water to <laughs> All right, let us know what else you want us to try out next video.